Okay, the tool that you will use more than any in Illustrator is the tool I'm on right now, the black arrow known as the selection tool. And basically it speaks for itself. The selection tool is when you want to select any object on the page. Right? So here I've got a square, I've got a circle, and I've got a line. Right? Now, if I wanted to select the square, I simply click over it, and you'll notice that the selection tool, the black arrow, has a dot beside it. That means I'm over something that can be selected. I click on it, and then you'll notice the arrow changes to a different style of pointer. And the shape that I'm selected, the, in this case the box, has now got these points. Right? It's got the blue dot, which is in the center of the shape. And in the case of a square, it's got points in the corners and points on each side. Right? Now, I could click within the shape and just click and drag, move it about. Right? Or, alternatively, I could go over each point and adjust it individually right. so you see if I click in the corners I'm only adjusting that corner if I click on that bottom I'm only adjusting that bottom right. so that is basically how the shape tool uh, the shape tool the select that is basically so that is basically how the selection tool works so if I were to click on the circle tool, again you see the selection tool has got the point next to it. This time with a circle you've only got the four points, one at each edge as it were. Right. See, so I'm only adjusting that point to shrink the circle down. Right. With the line it creates a box around it even though there is no box and therefore the shape can be adjusted like this. Right. If however when I was clicking on say the square shape I wanted it to remain the same size, I wanted it to be fixed at the same size and always keep the same proportion is more accurate what I should be saying. If I hold down the shift key and then say adjust one of the points it will scale the proportion down so you can see that that is still proportionally the same as that as it was when it was larger okay another thing you could do with the selection tool is you could duplicate a shape simply by if I hold down the alt key right, and then I roll over my square shape you'll see that there now looks like there's two arrows and if I were to click and drag I have a perfect duplicate you know, it's exactly the same size, it's exactly the same colour settings see, as my original rectangle. So there you go. There is all the functions of the selection tool.